the first leg of the big one, the pick six, kicks off at 10 to 2, 13 50, all things being good and equal. They're going to run over 1800 meters, and as you know by now, it's on the turf. Graham, you and I are, uh, we didn't do our selections together, but we're singing from the same hymn sheet on quite a couple of selections thus far. You've gone for five, raise a hallelujah to beat seven, fire on the track, exactly what I have. And my value selection is number eight for a place, Green Phantom, and you've got that third. So we're pretty much similar. But let's start with Razor Hallelujah, uh, the Karari. He, uh, not far off on both occasions, just over two lengths, the stable on such mustard form. He's obviously got big winning claims. Well, he steps up in trip again. He makes his debut on the turf track. His first two runs were on the poly track. I'm sure that's not going to be a factor here. Uh, Warren Kennedy retains the ride uh, for Gavin Finsale. Uh, his form is reasonable. Two lengths behind Ferrari Eyes, two lengths behind Chapton Verse. The strength of those form lines have yet to be fully tested. And clearly he comes up an, against another in-form runner in the form of number seven, Fire on the Track, uh, who was quite well supported last time out. Fire on the Track has had more attempts. He's a year older, so over 1,800 meters. Uh, he might have the edge giving him only three kilograms. At weight for edge terms, he should be giving Razor Hallelujah five kilograms more, eight in total. Uh, so certainly the weight for age scale favors number seven, Fire on the Track. Yes, we both picked out number eight, Green Phantom. He needs to get out of the gates. He has a tendency to be slow out, but I'm sure he'll be running on quite nicely at the end. And then 15, Double Gemini, has good enough form to suggest he has a quartet chance in the race. Okay, those are Graham's first four. We're very similar, as I said, and we did chat to Duncan Howells about Deputy Marshal Horse number 13, who's more than likely going to be one of the longer shots in the race. But nevertheless, I'm sure looking for improvement. Let's listen to what he had to say. First run, very good run. Second run, I thought, was a bit flat. His last run, he was far too way out of his ground. Eight links doesn't really uh, reflect what he was capable of doing. The draw is not in our favour, but he has got ability. He's shown very good work with the blinkers on. And once again, I think he could run into quartet. Okay, well, Graham, that's interesting because it is a blinker strike. He's lightly raced. He's clearly, you know, t taking a bit of time for the penny to drop. So on form, you'd have to dig deep. But it's interesting to hear what the conditioner says. Well. He doesn't have to be that good to run into the quartet, to be quite frank. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of ordinary horses that make up this field. And uh, apart from Razor Hallelujah and Fire on the Track, the rest of them um, have got to step up their game if they're going to crack their maiden tickets in the near future. And he fits that bill. He's only had uh, three starts. Uh, his first two were sprint races. He's by go deputy. He's clearly going to appreciate the distance. He ran over 1950 last time. Uh, but you know, you have to respect what Duncan says. So if he's expecting improvement from number 13, Deputy Marshal, you certainly have to throw him into quartet calculations. Before we close this race, for, this, uh, for the players that uh, have lesser budgets like the most of us, could you maybe get away with bankering Razor Hallelujah? Now, if you're playing the quartet, I would put five and seven to win, uh, five, seven and eight to run third and then uh, second, and then make up your third and fourth selections from there. That's race three, the first leg of the pick six.